Yo, what's up guys and welcome to day 24 of the Road to Glory. So, in today's episode we are going to be doing loads and loads of icon and um, informed trading, which is going to be good. Uh, I think we do the odd SBC maybe and then we've, um, yeah, basically just do loads of icon and informed trading. And it's been a little while so we are going to be showing you uh, the new way how I do icon trading. Because I actually want to use this as a little bit of a tutorial on my uh, Twitch. So, if you've come from my Twitch, welcome. Do, uh, do make sure, well, this is basically how I trade with icon. So... We are going to be logging into my old account so it doesn't ruin this too much for you guys. And right now I'm going to be showing you guys how I track data and how I work out the prices for players. Um, and yes, yeah, so basically this is what I do to get icons over the last few days. It's uh, for me a very, very effective way of um, getting their prices. And again, it's what I recommend you guys to do. If you're probably sitting anywhere about 6-700k, it's a good way of tracking players and finding out how much they are. So, this method again, you're about 6-700k and uh, it's all about tracking players' prices. So... We're going to be using the example of 90 rated icon Burkamp. So to do this, you basically want to type in their name over on FIFA. And then you just want to search. I guess it doesn't really matter. And there you go. Once you search, you then want to go and find the cheapest one on the market. Now, the cheapest Burkamp on the market, I believe, is probably going to be about 925. So what you want to do is you want to add this to your transfer targets. Adding it to your transfer targets is then going to make it sit, sit right here. Um, and when it sells on, you'll know. Because just like that Nakata, it will say, okay... Burkamp sell for 925. Well then when Burkamp sells for 925, if I can uh, go and show you right here, I basically have loads of their prices down. Um, I'm gonna go and add it right here, so 925k. 25k. Now previously when I've searched in Burkamp, he's been 900k. He's been 918, uh, 918k. But now the new cheapest is 925k. And as I say, this is just how I work out the prices, is um, yeah, just basically add them to your chance to targets. I'd only write 925k actually if he sold on, that's under that. Now, once you know that he sells on for 925k, when you're going through the icons one by one by one, again, you can literally do this for about 30, 40, 50, 60, I think I do it for all the icons, so I think I've got like a roster of about 100 players. You can go search in, alright, so I know he sells for 925, so then I know tax on a card that costs 900 is going to be 45k. So anything under, eight, uh, anything under 880k is going to be profit. Now, theoretically, a card pops up for 850k. I go and buy that to then go and sell that for um, 925 um, and go and make myself a nice little 35k profit. Now, an interesting thing is, let's say I know that he goes to 925k and I go and search for him because uh, you always want to see what the cheapest on the market is even if there isn't a deal. So let's say I go search Burkham and the cheapest on the market is now 950k. Well, now this could be the potential new cheapest this card sells for. So we're going to go and find, I don't know, say he goes for 950 and say that this was the only card on the market. I now go and add that, and like with that Burkham for the 925k, if this Burkham sold for 950, I then go and head over to Footbin. Oh, not Footbin, sorry, I'd again head over to my, again, I use a Google Docs, so you can use whatever you want, and I'd go type 950k. And as you can see, I've done this for loads and loads of different players, and you start building, you could use Footbin, but Footbin actually only tells you what the player has been listed for all day, so I'll go and show you Burkham right now on Footbin. It doesn't say what it's sold for. It's the average, the, um, can I spell his name? I can indeed. Uh, it is the average which the card is listed for. So, Burkham theoretically might only sell for about 920, 930k, but Footbin would say, okay, well he's been selling for 900, um, whatever, when that's not actually what he's been selling for, that's just been the average of him today. Like I say in the game, Burkham sell on for 920 and so on, um, even though it might say his average is 930 today. So, that's what you've got to understand is, Footbin doesn't tell you the selling price. Footbin tells you the average they're up on the market for, which isn't bad for some cards, but when cards are very rare like icons, you really don't want to be using that, and you want to be using your own knowledge, which is why I've literally built like a database of hundreds of players. Now, if you're interested in this, this is part of my Twitch subscriber trading perk. As I say, I put hours upon hours upon hours into learning these icon prices and writing all their guides down, so that's why I vouch it for like a monetary value. But uh, yeah, this is how I recommend you doing with icons. I do this with informs, so do the exact same thing. So again, I guess I'll show you another example. A player I love training with is Ollie Watkins. Ollie Watkins is a player that does, shouldn't be expensive, but the reason he's really expensive is because he was using the National Pride SBC, which actually allows this card, even though it's a trash card, he'll only he'll only have like 50, 60, 70 on the market. Right now, there are generally less than 40, well, I think it's 44 cards or something like that. Now, as a result of him being really rare, again, this really only works for players that are rare, so you don't want to do this with like 10k informers. You want to do this with, again, informs that are relatively rare. Uh, I'm going to go and try and find what the cheapest Ollie Watkins. Now, I've done this previously, I tell you, the data I for Ollie Watkins is that Ollie Watkins will sell for Scooby-Dooby-Doo. 
Um, the day drive for him is he started off at 25, then he was 25.5, then he was 26, then he was 28, and now the most uh, Watkins has been going for is 29.5, and I've been actually just selling him for 30. So as a result of knowing that he can sell for 30, I could actually go and buy for 26 because tax on 30 is only 1.5k, so I'd still make 2.5k on this Watkins if I went and bought him for 26, and then went and listed him up for 30. Not quite sure why Shakiri's popping up there, but that is how I go and data collect for um, all my um, informs and all my icons. Hopefully this guys does, you know, hopefully this does help you in working out how to find a player to not use Footbin and then finally to get some deals. So best of luck with this, and you're going to see me demonstrate a lot of this in today's video. So a bunch of players have sold on as of last night. In obviously bought 15, and then a few of the O Blacks. Uh, nothing really that interesting. Just I was just going out of the club a little bit, getting a few coins, and both these, of course, selling on the old favourite. That's again going to return about anywhere from four to five k, which is decent. So not a bad start of the day. So player that's taken a little bit of a hit recently, which I don't mind buying a bunch of, is Malin. So Malin used to be about 40, 41 k, but now he's down to 33. Uh, this fully could be down to a week in league sell off, but as I, I don't mind buying um, buying for 35k and under. And selling for 40 because that is a uh, 3k a piece. And uh, well, right now he's just absolutely crashed. So don't mind buying him right now. Uh, of course we are on a week in league sell off, so I'm uh, fully aware of that. But yeah, he's he's got relatively cheap right now, so I don't uh, I don't mind buying for 34, 35, and uh, yeah, holding on to to I don't know whenever whenever he fluctuates. So I give you guys a little update of how things have been going. As always, we sold an attribute on lazy buyers. When do we not sell attributes on lazy buyers? And we've gone and won a few things on bids. We've won and won all of these are 34, going to get listed for 40, and then Diddy for 60, going to be listed up for 66. And on top of that, we've got ourselves some cards in the unassigned. We've got ourselves uh, three in Diddy's all bought for under 60, and uh, loads of Malins all bought for 35, maybe, yeah, 35 and un 34 and under, sorry, so not too bad. So we've just gone and sold on Skullsy. Skullsy we bought for 305, so for 330. So the profit on that is tax was 16.5, uh, which means uh, about 8k, uh, in all fairness. But hey, uh, I mean, we sold him on. We got more coins, happy days, more coins to trade with. Uh, recently, just been doing uh, a lot of like learning new icons, so um, should be all good in the hood. Yeah, there you go, nothing too crazy. Just uh, bait, oh yeah. I haven't actually showed you guys the process of how I learn icons. I'll show you for the next few players, why not? So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to go for Lippmann. Um, there we go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick Lippmann right here. This is how I learn the prices. I then go and search and basically find what the cheapest Lippmann on the market is. Cheapest Lippmann on the market is probably going to be about 510k by the looks things. Is it? 490, no way cheaper. So the cheapest Lippmann is 485. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add this to the tramps list. Now, like these players on here, if Lippmann went and sold on, and it would show me when he sells on. I'm now going to go and write down on my spreadsheet, Lippmann, 485k. Now, later in the day, what I'm going to do is maybe I'm going to... Now I know that he sells 485k. If I go and search for Lippmann and there's one up for like 440, I'm like, okay, I could buy that, sell it, make 20k after uh, tax. But if I go search later and there's no Lippmann on the market up until 500k, so the cheapest one's 500k, I'm not going to go and add that one for 500k because now it might be that actually Lippmann sells for 500k rather than 480k. Maybe 480k was low for a Lippmann. And this is how I kind of work out the, um, this is how I work out the prices for my icons, the informs, and all these big players I trade with. So, yeah, just give you guys a little uh, idea of how I actually know the prices. And then I write it all down onto a spreadsheet, which is part of the subscriber training guide over on Twitch. So, just going to sell our uh, Watkins we managed to get for 20k this morning. Now, hopefully a bunch of the SBC fod has ended right now. Hopefully. Because I've got a bit of a plan to do with it. Has it ended? No, we still got Oblak selling. But yeah, basically the plan of action is I'm going to see what Oblak's selling and start selling him on... Basically, I'm selling for a little bit less right now because we've only got about four hours till 6 p.m. And I would quite like my coins at 6 p.m., especially for the UCL marking matchups tonight. So, yeah, it's been doing, obviously, doing a little bit of icon trading right now. Carlos Alberto is mad. He's got about 100k because of the Hulk. Um, and, yeah, just so I can have a little bit more coins ready for 6 p.m. So, just going to get yourself a deal on right right here for uh, 495. Now, it should be a sale right for about 540, which should be a good little deal. So... After tax, we should have a... Uh, well, tax is going to be 27k. So, it's going to be a gigantous, um 18k profit if we manage to sell him. So, shouldn't be too bad. I've been look looking for a snipe on a right for a little bit. Because he's got quite cheap. You can actually normally send for 450, but I wouldn't quite... Sorry, 550. But uh, I wouldn't quite mind having my coins ready for 6pm. Bear in mind, that's uh, literally one hour... Well, just over two hours away. So, yeah, not bad. Decent deal on right. Been selling my O-Blacks for... Um, sorry, my throat's gone a little bit. 
for like a two, three K losses, you know, so you've got to take them. But luckily, O Black, sorry, right would should hopefully cover uh, all the um, all the losses I uh, take on the other players. So not bad. I'd say worth it. If I get another cheap right as well, it'd be decent because I, uh, I I track him quite a lot and he sells them pretty well. What's going to sell on there? Go yet another O Black. So a little bit riskily, just for six pm, just going to go myself two deals right here. Got ourselves two skulls. Uh, got this guy for uh, two nine eight and the other one here for um, three hundred. Can we sell them both for three thirty? Uh, which I mean, we'll turn over a nice little. What is that? Thirteen point five k on this one, and then obviously two k more, so fifteen point five k. So between both of them, that's a nice little thirty k. Uh, I get a little bit risky buying just for six pm, but uh, I don't think it'll be uh, anything too much to worry about. So let's get that one listed up, and let's get the other one listed up. I can't because we have a full transfer list, and uh, yeah, what we'll do right now is we'll probably just send a bunch there from our transfer list uh, just so we got enough room for six pm. So just got ourselves a deal right here. Got Van Nistelrooy in the the whole panic which we're having right now. Um, bought this card for uh, 240k. Uh, Going to be selling for about 270k, which means that I'll be able to turn over uh, just over 15k. I think we're going to be able to make ourselves how much in the end is that going to be? Uh, tax on this is going to be yeah. I think we make ourselves about 16, 17k. So yeah, not too bad. Van Nistelrooy bought for 240. Going to be selling for 270. And we just saw one of our skulls we bought just before 6pm for 3.30. We obviously bought these for 300, which means we're making... One actually was bought for, I think, 3.298. So, yeah, it's another, like, 16k over on skulls. And, of course, we're still on our bad squares and all the investments we bought over at 6pm. Another deal right here. We've got Vieri right here for uh, 3.80. You got it fresh, tradable. Yay, happy days. Uh, Going to be listening for 420k. Uh, Vieri, I always say, is Vieri 420 because he's literally always 420. After 420, again, we're going to make ourselves a 19k profit. So... Yeah, uh, not too bad. We're going to pick that up. Um, and yeah, happy days. I've actually going to pick up some other deals as well, but for some reason didn't uh, show you guys. So these uh, deals being... Oh, wow, I've got loads. Okay, so we've got a uh, we've got a Skulls Rare for 2 9 I guess I just didn't end up listing this card in the end. So this is a 3.30. Let me just double check, make sure it's... Um, what's it going for right now? 3.50. I might go 3.30 because let's be realistic. Yeah, 3.30 on that card. Lovely. Yeah, I didn't actually show you guys me buying this one. Uh, we also then went and picked up a Watkins right now for uh, 20k earlier, and we're going to sell this for 30, probably about 31k, looking at his uh, most recent prices, so that should be good. And I also went and picked up a Gnabry, I might just go and sell this Gnabry on, because I don't know if I can really be bothered. Oh, he's got a 20k price range now. That's good, I bought him for 13. That's... Oh, I'll hold on to I guess, but yeah, go on for 13, uh, and hopefully going to be selling on something else to sell on, which makes me really scared. <laughs> so I think I end a list players if they sell instantly, but yeah, nothing too. And here's Skullsy number two selling on, uh, who again we bought for 298, so that's a easy 15k even after tax. So uh, happy days, just been again, just going through the icons one by one by one, trying to get some good deals. So guys, guys up another deal, gonna got gigs for 345, gonna be selling those gigs for 375. I could actually maybe get a little bit more for gigs, but um, I just wouldn't mind having the coins pretty fast. So there you go, 30k different tax, it's gonna be just sub 20k. Um, so yeah, I can make stuff for like 13, 14k. On gigs, but uh, yeah, more than happy with that deal. There you go, let's get that listed up right there, see if there's anything sold on to, uh, to show you guys. Nah, nothing interesting, just looking at a few informs and whatever, but yeah. Not a bad deal on gigs, maybe another one? No, but there you go, just going for icons one by one by one, picking up good deal. And here's an Ollie Watkins we got earlier for 20k and sold for 31k, which means there was a nice little 9.5k profit. Happy, happy days. So we've got ourselves a De Bruyne right now, which I can't go and list up. Please tell me something sold on. 11 things are sold on, beautiful. Bunch of fun allies, beautiful. So yeah, we only got ourselves a uh, De Bruyne right now, which I can now finally show you the price. We went and bought De Bruyne for 570, and we're going to go and sell for 620, which means after tax we're going to be making about 19k on De Bruyne. Not bad. Uh, 570 is actually a really, really decent little price. It was on the market for three minutes as well, which shows that you can get some really, really easy deals, and it's not even madly competitive. So there's De Bruyne. It's obviously not going to give me too many coins to trade with, but you know, given a few things sell on, and I'll uh, get uh, yeah, I'll be able to do more big icon trade. So yet another deal on the likes of Ollie Watkins. So we sell an Ollie Watkins earlier for 30, and we've managed to go and pick up Ollie Watkins uh, for 25. So we're going to sell them for 30, and going to go make ourselves an easy 3.5k. Anything interesting sold on? No, nah, not really. We've just been selling a lot of the players we bought at 6pm. So we are going to be calling the end of today. So give you a little update. Vance quotes, we actually sold for a 1k loss, sadly. Uh, Hakimi ball for 4 or 5. Uh, it doesn't really matter about the 1k losses on Vance quotes, because we did manage to make about... 1k basically per right back, so that's not bad. Training cards selling on as always, and I don't think anything else is sold on. So we're kind of ending this episode up. We have loads of icons, loads of informs. Can be listening these up overnight. Lazy buyers 
are absolutely amazing overnight. And of course, you know, we got ourselves. Well, basically, just got loads of icons, loads of informs, and uh, well, the rest is training items. Yeah, I don't believe you bought too much else. Um, no reason the club's looking too much. But yeah, basically, just got loads of icons and informs going into tomorrow. Well, it's Serge Gnabry. He's not even being listed up right now, so I guess we'll, um, yeah, we're kind of holding on to that. For tomorrow, I think I'm going to be looking at maybe. I might even add a few um, UCL prices on because these cards are, you know, these UCLs are going to be rarer than the golds, for example. We'll go and check. Let's go and check normal gold Noir compared to um, UCL Noir. Just is just completely random off the top of my head. Normal gold Noir is, what, 42k? He is indeed. So these UCLs, because even though they're consistently going to be in packs, they're still going to be kind of rare. So normal Noir, okay, 40k. How much is on the UCL Noir? Yeah. UCL Noir is about 10k more. So I bet you there's going to be a good bit of money. Again, it's, it's really understanding the fluctuations, and this is really going to be with the top-tier players like the Ronaldo's, your Messi's, your De Bruyne's, your Silver's, and not so much with your cheap players. So, uh, yeah, what we are going to be looking tomorrow is definitely a lot of uh, UCL trading. See what sort of UCLs are looking to uh, to be up as such, because, um, yeah, I think, I, think, I think there'll be good money on that. And, of course, with that, I'll do be doing more informs and more icons. So thank you very much for watching today's episode. Today's episode was loads and loads of icon trading. Hopefully you guys are enjoying this, because this is what I'm doing quite a lot at the moment, because there is a good bit of money on it. You see, we're flipping 10, 20, 30k a player. It adds up quite nicely. So thank you very much for watching today's episode. And just to see you guys. Oh, yeah, one thing. Um, all the uh, Vasquez and that lot, a lot of them were bought for, sold for 2k, so... 6p investing, again, kind of break even, maybe made a few K, but thank you very much for watching today's video, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.